disaster in the city's history, the fiery destruction of at least one-third of the Redondo Beach Pier. And while firefighters continued to pour water onto the smoldering pilings, guarding against another flare-up, determined city management vowed to reopen as much of the undamaged sections of the pier as possible as early as tomorrow. We want to get the word out to the public, uh, particularly with the Memorial Day weekend coming up, that uh, we will be open for business and really a majority of the uh, shops and restaurants will still be open. Earlier in the day, no one was thinking about reopening the pier. Roaring flames made it look like the pier would be a total loss. When the fire broke out at 1.45 and quickly spread, some 1,000 people had to flee. It was black smoke. You couldn't hardly see the flames, really. With firefighters working from the water and the land, it took more than two hours to stop the flames' advance. Firefighters say the chemically treated wooden pier burned like a torch. We had fire lapping from the bottom of the pier up around and igniting the roof, so the fire was all around the structure. We've been asked before, would sprinklers have put this fire out? No, it burnt from the outside in, not from the inside out. And back at the pier tonight, firefighters readied for a long night. And the curious, as always, came out to see the disaster for themselves. You know, it's just one thing after another. So they get rid of one problem and something else happens. Firefighters say that about 150 to 200 feet of the pier is completely gone. Engineers have examined the rest and say that they do believe that the city's plans to open it tomorrow are realistic. Of course, this, after a terrible January storm, followed again by another storm in April, leave the folks here in Redondo Beach wondering what's next. Reporting live, Phil Schumann, Channel 4 News. Keith Kelly. All right, All right a big you, comeback, Phil. we hope. Yeah, indeed. And 11 fire companies went to Mount Washington. The Twice this year, it was battered by powerful winds and waves. Today, the Redondo Pier gets what may be the final knockout punch. A disastrous fire spreads through the Southern California landmark. Good evening. John Schubeck is off tonight. I'm Warren Olney. And I'm Terry Murphy. Topping our news tonight at 11 o'clock, it was an awesome spectacle. The storm ravaged Redondo Pier, engulfed in uncontrollable flames. Flames fueled by a stiff breeze and tinder dry wooden pilings. This disaster couldn't have hit at a worse time, the second biggest money-making weekend of the year for businesses on the pier. Estimates of today's damage are running as high as $17 million. Our Jim Ray is at the demolished pier right now, and Jim has this live report. Jim? Terry, the fire may be out, but firefighters and law enforcement personnel are still working tonight. In fact, there have been some casualties to report. There are three uh, firefighters who have been taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation, Two have been treated and released. One is being hospitalized. The uh, wood down on the pilings is coated with a material called creosote, which puts out a carbon monoxide type fume, and that is apparently what has uh, taken these firefighters by surprise. Also, uh, the uh, area here is relatively quiet, except for the uh, two dozen or so firefighters who are still working tonight. We've got some videotape to show you now what they have been doing all night. They have been dousing this uh, area, the pier that was burning only hours before. They've been dousing it because the area is still smoldering. And they are mindful of the fact that it could still go up in flames, reignite, if you will, if the uh, smoldering is left unchecked. The pier, however, is quiet, just as police said it would be. They have been patrolling the area all night. They do not want to have looters, as they have had in the past. Now, this is what it looks like now. Chris Blatchford has this report on how the fire all started. About 1.40 this afternoon, the fire broke out at the Breakers Seafood Restaurant in the middle of the Horseshoe Pier. It spread like crazy. The fire had tremendous headway because it's an old wood pier. It, the uh, pilings are creosote covered, producing dense smoke. Within 90 minutes, most of the pier was burning wildly out of control. Flaming debris crashed into the water. Firefighters were driven off the pier by the intense heat and flames. We knew the, the, the restaurant was fully involved, so we tried to make a first initial stop at the end there. Um, fire was totally involved underneath. It kept moving this way because of the wind, so we had to back off another 50 feet. Thick black smoke smothered the skyline. Wind fanned the flames. The heat so intense, it was even difficult for harbor firefighting boats to get close enough to be effective in fighting the fire. Our own crews out in a private boat report it was so hot they couldn't get within 100 feet of the pier. Miraculously, there have been no reported injuries. At one point, I thought we were going to lose it. 
we, we just made a stand and said, you know, we, we've got to stop it here, and we did. It was a valiant effort, I'll tell you. Those guys, especially the guys who were under the pier, we had men under the pier on the pilings themselves, on the cross members, holding the fire from accelerating toward the shore. Chris Blatchford, Channel 2 Action News. Now, as you might imagine, there's quite an economic loss, but beyond the property damage, there are some 7 million people that come to this pier annually, and obviously now being the eve of a holiday weekend, they were expecting quite a crowd this weekend as well. But beyond the economic loss, there is a sentimental value to this pier. It is celebrating its 100th year. As you might imagine, this pier has quite a long history with this city. The pier, which had seen the roaring 20s and the stock market crash of 29, endured another crash last January, the crash of 25-foot waves. They tore gaping holes in the breakwater and blew out windows to the nearby Portofino Inn, forcing the evacuation by helicopter of several hotel guests. The pier itself sustained damage as well, in the amount of $16 million. Then came the windstorm last April. That picked up where the earlier storm left off. According to eyewitnesses, today's firestorm is believed to have started underneath the Breakers restaurant. That prompted an evacuation of the entire pier. This is a typical uh, summer Friday afternoon. Uh, numerous people on the pier. Um, the fire started uh, underneath the Breakers restaurant and the entire pier area had been evacuated. Now the job facing the city is rebuilding the pier, which is so much a part of the history of Redondo Beach. It's a tremendous financial impact on the small business operators who, uh, who stand by in the winter and, and pine for the summer months. Uh, this is uh, the kickoff of the big season for them, so it's, uh, it's been devastating on, on that account. The pier is a, means a great deal to the city of Redondo Beach, historic significance. It's very important to Redondo. Again, the fire may technically be out, but these firefighters will be here throughout the night, dousing the area that is still smoldering. Law enforcement officials will also be here to make sure that there are no looters. The much of the pier has remained undamaged, but of course, there are businesses and there is property to protect. So even though this is a holiday weekend approaching for the officers, it will be no holiday tonight. Reporting live, I'm Jim Moray, Channel 2 Action News. Thank you, Jim. A lot of work. Memorial weekend perhaps the worst disaster in the city's history, the fiery destruction of at least one-third of the Redondo Beach Pier. Do I eat good? Take Vaughn's every 